Yeah, Hillary Clinton's numbers have taken a dip in New Hampshire since February in a couple of different areas. But when her closest competitor in the possible field hasn't campaigned at all or even signaled any intention to do so, it's doubtful that the Clinton campaign is really on high alert right now. The inevitability argument works as long as you're inevitable. And with a 31-point lead over Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren and a 38-point bulge over newly minted candidate Bernie Sanders, Hillary Clinton still enjoys a comfortable cushion. But the poll also shows some warning signs. Currently, her net favorability is only plus 58 percent, which is good, but it was at plus 74 percent in February. So that is a significant drop. From lingering questions about the disposal of private emails as Secretary of State and fundraising tactics at the Clinton Foundation, UNH pollster Andy Smith figures both are taking their toll on Clinton's numbers. And with upcoming congressional hearings in Benghazi, he also believes her baggage will only get heavier. They're going to drag on throughout the summer and into the fall. Uh, this is not going to go away, and the question for strategy for other Democrats is when do they take advantage of it? But right now, only Sanders is mounting a challenge, and despite traveling the country of late, former Maryland Governor Martin O'Malley still languishes with Vice President Biden in the low single digits in terms of support. Even so, Clinton's New Hampshire backers aren't letting up. There's a long time between now and the New Hampshire primary, and the Clinton campaign has made it clear from day one that they're going to run every day as though they're, they're behind in this race. For now, though, a Democratic primary win for Clinton in New Hampshire still looks very likely. But one thing Smith says to keep your eye on isn't necessarily the polls, but rather the actions of Elizabeth Warren. If she were to get in the race, it would only happen because she thinks she can win it. And if she thinks she can win it, that shows deep signs of vulnerability for Clinton within the Democratic Party. All right, well, another thing to keep in mind, only 10 percent of likely Democratic voters in New Hampshire, at least those polled, say that they've absolutely made up their minds. So while the odds certainly seem long, it appears that many are willing to give at least a look to others in the Democratic field. Reporting live, Josh McKelvin, WMUR News 9.